Uh, so you guys going on some sort of road trip to Fieldmont this weekend? I just went there to visit my bro. Almost didn't make it back. Almost didn't make it back. Dude, it's just college. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I didn't sleep for three days, okay? I don't have any money left in my bank account. I maxed out my parents' credit card, which was only supposed to be used in case of an emergency. I tried smoking a tampon, wet my brother's bed twice, stole a car, got in a bar fight, ate some goldfish, played naked frisbee, found a tattoo on my lower back of a unicorn. Don't remember getting that. I laughed, I cried. So all in all, I'd say it was pretty much the best weekend of my life. There's been a mistake. Don't say a word. Who are you? We're your lawyers. Look, I swear, I had no idea there were drugs in that car, okay? There's been a mistake. You have to believe me. Yeah, but then why would you spend your time leading the cops in that high-speed chase back? I, I ran a light, okay? And I, I, I freaked. I, I don't know. I thought they'd assume the car was stolen. Why would they assume that, Doug? Did you steal the van? No, I didn't steal the van. I... It belonged to this girl that I met down in Ensenada, all right? I was there on break, and we kind of had a thing. Oh, God, you, 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 someone's got to call my dad and tell him there's been a misunderstanding. Please, uh, any of you, I don't care, one of you. We'll take care of that. We'll take care of that. you got to just calm down. Calm down, will you? I'm trying. This girl got a name? Uh, Mia, yes, Mia Randall. Is she American? Yeah, yeah, she, she's a senior at UNLV. Doug, did, did Mia ask you to drive her car back here? Okay, look, I know this sounds sketchy, but it's not like that. All right, Mia, Mia has this ex, and, 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 and he was there, and, and you know, he, she was afraid that he'd follow her on the way home, so she took a plane and asked me if I would Drive just... her car back here. Yes, fine, yes, she asked me to drive her car back, and I did, but she didn't pack it full of drugs. She lied to you, Doug. Either that or you're lying to us. Wait, uh, so you, you guys took my phone before I came in here, right? Yeah, we got your phone. Look at the last video, uh, uh before, before I got put in here. There. Yeah, that one. yeah right there. do that to me. She wouldn't do that to you. This girl that asked you to do this, this Mia Randall, she goes to your same school? Uh, yeah, but we, we never met. So you agreed to drive a vehicle for a woman that you'd never met? Hey, watch the tone. I, I mean, I, I knew her. We, we'd spent like a week together. You do any drugs with her, Mr. Christensen? My client's gonna refrain from answering that at this time. Hey, Doug, it's okay. You're doing fine. You knew what was in that car, didn't you? I'm warning you. If you don't come clean, we can't help you with the state. Okay, that's it. We're out of here. Come on, Doug. Doug. Hey, Doug, you okay? I'm such an idiot. Doug. I knew something was wrong. I need a moment with my client. I knew it. I knew it, but I did it anyway. Doug, an Doug, shut up. Stop talking. Your client is giving information freely. I knew. The second I tried. Doug, Doug, oh. Doug, shut up. Doug, 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 what is he on? Get a medic! Get a medic! Get here now! You said you didn't know there were drugs in the car. I didn't know. Your toxicology report said you had enough blow in your system to light up the strip. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For lying to us or swallowing a big bag of cocaine? That bag was in your stomach for eight hours leaking. You could have died, man. You gotta be straight with us, Doug. Because right now we are the only thing standing between you and a life full of prison showers. Okay. I met Mia, and she was beautiful. You know, she wanted to party. We, we were in the car, and we were, we were listening to music, and we were drinking, and she was kissing me. And, and before you know it, she pulled out a bag of Coke. All right? I don't even do that stuff, I swear. But for the first time in my life, I had a chance with, with, with a girl who was way out of my league. So, yes. I did some coke down in Mexico, and then I think she, she threw it in the glove box. I don't know. It, it was the last thing on my mind at the time. Like on the drive back, I found the bag, and I know I should have thrown it out, but I didn't. I, I wasn't thinking. I didn't even realize I ran the light until the cop pulled up behind me, and at that point, I knew I couldn't get away. I freaked. I swallowed the bag. No one's gonna buy that you didn't know about the kilos in the trunk, but you knew about the eight ball in your glove compartment. It's gonna put a big dent in your credibility. Yeah, but you need, to, you need to prove that Mia's ex was the one who set me up. He, I what, he wanted to get back at you, so he planted $3 million worth of merchandise in your car? It didn't happen, Doug. Mia conned you into this. Oh, God. I'm going to prison, aren't I? 
I'm a freshman pledge. Beaver was kind of like my mentor in the fraternity. When Beaver, uh, your mentor, asked you to hack into Professor Twardosh's files to steal tests, what did you think? At first, I said no. But you know what? Beaver was your brother. That's right. He was a brother who was on academic probation. I mean, he was going to get expelled if he didn't pass the chem course. Plus, I know it may not have looked like it from the outside, but Beaver was a great guy. So, I had to help him. Our computer expert said that some info was erased from Beaver's hard drive, erased by someone who knew what they were doing. That was me, too. JPEG files, I think about 30 of them. Digital photographs. Yeah. I, I didn't see any of them, but before I permanently deleted them, Beaver had asked me to put four specific ones onto a USB drive. So I did. Look, I, I told you everything, okay? It, but if my college finds out that I hacked into the chem test, they're gonna kick me to the curb, okay? I, they don't care about brothers. Well, I care about brothers who are great guys, Eli. But more importantly, I report to the FBI, not Middlesex College. Thanks. You wanna know what I can do? He can talk his way of anything. Hey, guys. How are you? I can pretty much make you do anything I want. I think it would make you feel extremely positive to tell me any thoughts you might have as to who might have taken it. But you're quite amazing when it comes to science homework. Let us pass. <laughs>